A three-year-long saga appears to be coming to a close. Henderson Atwater is accused in a string of pellet gun shootings and sat in jail for it for about two and a half years. Closing arguments are taking place right now. WRL Sean Gallagher was in the courtroom. He joins us now with what's happened. Sean. Yeah, I just stepped out of the courtroom in the last five minutes after closing arguments for both sides ended. The state earlier today saying this has to be much more than a coincidence. The fact that Henderson Atwater's vehicle was seen on surveillance at a number of these shootings back over the course of 2020 through 2022. Now, this is the silver Volkswagen Jetta that was shown on a number of those surveillance videos. The state pointing out that despite the quality of the video here, there were identifiers showing that this was Atwater's vehicle, including the license plate. But the defense says Atwater physically couldn't use the gun the state is saying that he did to use this and the police had a shoddy investigation as well. Here's both sides. We don't have every hole filled. Could law enforcement done better on this? This, yes. The state is not going to argue that this was a perfect investigation. Does anything else make sense but that? Does anything else make sense than this? Than Mr. Atwater? We'll never know why he did this. But the reality is, he did do this. Because again, things stop being coincidences and they start becoming reality. What he did testify to, though, is that they went so far as to use pole cameras, Arlo cameras, and LPR cameras. Doesn't know how long they were there. If there was anything of evidentiary value from those cameras, do you think you might have seen it? Probably so. So what does that tell you? Your and while we haven't heard from Atwater during the trial, he was admonished by the judge for audibly yawning during closing arguments, something the judge says he had done a number of times over the course of this trial. Now, they are giving jury instructions right now as we speak, and we expect the jury to go into deliberations any minute now. And of course, this evening, we'll bring you anything that happens from the result. Sean Gallagher, WRAL News, Wake County.